Hey everyone, it's Kabir here. In today's session, we are going to understand the concept called filter. Filter method in your JavaScript. Because in next, like I wanted to take one task where I wanted to use the filter. So I thought let's make a video on this filter and let's make you guys understand how this filter function is going to work in the JavaScript. Let us consider we have an array like array equals to some uh, like i have uh, okay 22 comma some numbers like 100 something like 25 i mean this is might be 25 something like 95 something like 47 something like 12 something like 3 something something okay i have the array which contains of some elements like now i want to filter this array what I wanted to do, I wanted to print the output as the array which contains, means it, it should print an array and the elements in the array should be greater than 50. Now I have the array which contains random numbers, which contains the elements more than 50, less than 50. But I want to print the array which should be greater than 50. That's my requirement. Means I have, I, want, I need to filter this particular array. So if I want to filter this array, JavaScript gives us a predefined function, which is in a built-in function. And the name of that function is filter. Using that function, we can filter the given array. So how that is one, let us see. So let's create a function. I'm going to create a function like function filter app something I'm going to give. Uh, so the first statement, I want to print the original array. So how can I print? Just I need to say console dot log and the original array. Cool. Now in this array, I want to use the filter. So how we have to use the filter? So first of all, we have to understand on which particular array we want to use the filter. So I want to use the filter function on the this particular array. So how can I write array name dot filter? And the filter function is same as your map function. It is going to take one callback function. So I'm going to take one callback function. So let's take an arrow function. Okay, it's a callback function. And this callback function is going to take two parameters, same element and your index. Cool. Now this is going to return you a new array based on your condition. Based on your condition, it is going to filter your array and it is going to return an array. So if it is going to return some array, we have to catch that array. So I'm going to say new array equals to done. Now what, I, what is our requirement? My requirement is I want to find the elements which are greater than 50. So each and every element is coming in this particular parameter. So how can I write element greater than 50? Cool. Now how it is going to function whenever the control comes to here, line number six, it is going to go to the array. It is going to pick the first element. So what is the first element? It is 22, right? Now it is going to take that 22 and keep in this particular element. I mean, in this parameter. What is the index of this 22? It's a zero. So zero will be here. Now the control comes to here. Now it is going to check element is greater than 50 or not. 22 is greater than or 50? No, false. So it is not going to return anything. Now again, the control will comes to your array. Now it will pick the second element. Second element is 34. What is the index? One, one. It is going to check. Again, it is a false. Then again, it will come to the array. It is going to pick your third element. Now, what is your third element? It's a hundred. So hundred is greater than 50, yes, true. So it is going to return you the true, means it is going to return the element that is in the 50, 100. And 100 is going to store in your new array as a first element. So let us print this one, new array, console.log. And that is equals to your new array. That's done. Now to execute this, first of all, we have to call this method, right? So filter app, I'm gonna call. 
So how can we execute a particular JS file using a command called node? So anyhow, we have installed the node so we can directly execute this particular function. So I have to save, I have saved it. So node, your file name, what is the file name? It's nothing but filter. dot js just see what is your first array this is this first array right now what is the second array it is nothing but a new array after filtering all the elements are above 50 so we are filtering the array so in the same way we are going to get some data from the database right now we want to filter that data according to some condition so to filter such data according to some condition, we are going to use this particular method. So I just wanted to tell you how the filter is going, like filter method is going to behave. So this is how the functionality of your predefined filter method, which is present in your JavaScript. So that's all for this session. Thank you.